Hey guys, this is Carbonell and welcome back to another video. Today we've got an interesting one. Today we're looking at my Steam games that I have in my library and on Steam. Ones that I play, ones that I don't, and ones that I think you guys should check out. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. This is Steam and we're going to go to my library. So uh, as you can see here, we've got my list of games listed out right here. I actually uh, put it in terms of uh, sort of by recent activity, uh, just so could, we could go through some of the games um, that I've been playing, that I haven't been playing. And as you can see here, these are all of my top games or the ones that I have downloaded. And we're going to start at the bottom of the list here um, with <laughs> no recorded activity. So I guess I just downloaded it and I didn't even get to play it or I didn't even play it yet. And uh, we have, let's go right from the bottom, uh, Race Room, which it's a car game. I love cars. I'm so into racing, Formula One, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've downloaded it and I got it and I did, well, I guess I haven't even installed it, but um, it's here, it's in my library and I don't know, I, I guess I should, uh, I should give it a shot. I should install it and try it and, and see how it goes, but that is my... Uh, that is the game that's on the bottom of my list right now. Um, and then next up is Apex Legends. I know that I've tried this and I don't know why it's, um, you know, no recorded activity. You can see there's, you know, no hours played, but I know I've tried Apex Legends. Maybe it was back in, in the beta or um, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. This is kind of appalling to me because, I mean, it's a, it's a good game. I, I, I would have tried it out. Um, but no, I, maybe on Steam I didn't, maybe on the actual website I did, but this is <laughs> the next game that I have on here. So next is one that I've downloaded in 2014, oh my god, uh, is Unturned, and I played 4.6 4 hours. I remember playing this game because it looked, it reminded me of Minecraft, I just, well I hadn't just gotten into Minecraft, but uh, I, I'd played Minecraft for a little, little while and I wanted to try something out that's a little bit different, but kind of the same. And me and my brother were playing this. We played, I think we played like four and a half hours, like one night from like 11 o'clock till like 4 a.m. or something like that. Just because we were bored. It was middle of summer break or something like that. And uh, we decided to try out this game. But this was one of those games that, uh, I don't know, you just kind of try out, play with your friends, play with, uh, with your family, uh, that kind of stuff. It's like Minecraft, but it's also like survival and zombies. And we were really into that thing, uh, games like DayZ and all those uh, all those kinds of games. I got Skyrim way back in, I don't know when, probably 2016, at which time I also got Skyrim Script Extender. Um, and what, what it does is basically it allows you to mod um, Skyrim, add some, you know, cool mods, make uh, the game looks, uh, you know, much better. Uh, I know the new packs have come out now, uh, like Skyrim Special Edition, which allow you it to be like really, really um, enhanced graphics. But this was back when, you know, we didn't have that. We had the normal version of Skyrim. And I know this game has been out for so long. Please, Bethesda, make a new one. Um, and I know they're working on it and uh, can't wait to play. Uh, the next game is another one that I played with my brother is uh, The Elder Scrolls Online. Again, I, I, you can kind of see a trend here. Played Skyrim, loved Skyrim in 2016. Then in 2017, I... I might have gotten bored of it or something like that. Uh, might have finished it and then <laughs> got Elder Scrolls Online because, hey, it's the Elder Scrolls. Um, so we got that. Again, I only played like a few hours here. What uh, I thought I played this a lot more. Again, it was me and my brother just kind of sat down and uh, played through the beginning parts of this. I, I remember just like this was I, I'd also been playing games like Guild Wars 2 and, and some of the other games. But yeah, this was interesting. Um, we, talk, we talked about Skyrim, 20 hours in this kind of game. I honestly, like I have this game um, on here. I have it on my PS, PS4. I had it, um, I, I guess I obviously have it now on my PS5 because it allows you to transfer it over. But I have, I've beaten it on PS5 and I haven't beaten it on, uh, on PC. But on PS5, I have, I've gotten all the way to the end. There's so many things to do. Uh, I think I was just, um, I just had joined the Thieves Guild and was trying to finish all the missions, trying to get all the trophies that I could. I was close to about like 50% of the trophies, but that's as far as I got. What's next? Warframe. 
Ooh, this is a this is an interesting one. This actually is here because of of Destiny, um, the original Destiny. Um, that's one of the games that uh, you know I, I've been playing quite a bit, and I was like, okay, well, I want to play Destiny, but I don't, I you know, I didn't want to play on my PlayStation for some reason, and then. I just got Warframe because it seemed like it was similar. It was kind of the same. You got to do these all these cool actions, and uh, yeah, that's that's next. Again, I didn't play it a whole lot. I'm I'm sure lots of people have, but uh, yeah. The next one. This is a really this is a cool one because um, I actually played this with a couple of my friends. Yeah, 2020. Um, I played this and I actually made a video about it and you guys can check out that video um, on my channel if you go on and see what uh, uh, Alien Swarm Reactive Drop is all about. Um, this is actually one of like the best performing videos on my channel right now which is amazing so thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for tuning into videos like this. Um, it was honestly just one of those one of those days where uh, my friends were like, "Hey, uh, we play this game. You got you should try it too." And so I tried it, and we played it. We played it for pretty much like three and a half hours that day, and I I loved it, and it was it was a lot of fun. And um, maybe that was over a couple of days, and uh, yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun. You guys can check out the video uh, if you want to learn more about it, and definitely try it out on Steam. It's been it's a really fun game, really fun game to play cooperatively with friends. Um, you can play it online, all that kind of stuff. What is next? We were here. Two hours. Okay, so this is one of those games where you kind of just like, I was really just, me and my brother were looking for a game to play. And we're like, hey, we should try this. It's a, it's kind of like a couch co-op thing, but we, were, we weren't like on a couch, obviously, but um, we were in separate rooms <laughs> playing this. Uh, and it's... Kind of like a survival it's a puzzle game but it's kind of like a, a breakout a break, breakout room an escape room uh, that's what they're called it's kind of like an escape room and you get to uh solve little puzzles and you get you get to escape from this uh castle or i don't know what, what it's called but uh i think the demo or like the beginning part of it was only a couple hours long so we ended up beating it in a couple hours um, and it was a lot of fun for the time it, it was. It was one of the. It was one evening. Uh, we just decided to, tr to try something new. Next is Gary's mod. I haven't played this at all. Um, I downloaded it. I got it. My brother's been playing it, and uh, I never even, I guess, tried it. I know there's so many things that uh, uh, that the community loves about Gary's mod, and there's so many things that I should try out and I could try out. I just haven't tried it out. But uh, maybe that's one of the upcoming games that we play on this channel. Destiny 2. Oh yeah. So this is another one. Of, this is one of those games where, again, I played a lot on my PS4 and now on PS5, but not on PC. And p partly because there's you know so much progression on the PS4, uh, that kind of stuff. But for now, um, yeah, that's all I have for Destiny 2. Uh, Destiny, like the original Destiny, was definitely a lot more uh, than Destiny 2 for sure. Um, I know they're doing some fantastic stuff with Destiny 2 now, and they're going to make, uh, you know, I hope they're going to continue making this series or make something better and uh, go to the, all the hype that Destiny 1 had when, when it first was released. Overcooked is so much fun. It is like, it's one of the the best co-op games that i know on steam and the, the ones that like i've played with family friends you know it's a, it's a party game you could have it you could play it when you have people over i guess you can't have people over because of covid but um having well you can play online with friends all that kind of stuff it's one of those games that you can get into right away get hooked on really like right away and and just play and now there's a sequel to it overcooked 2 which you can also get I haven't gotten overcooked too because we just got the original tried to play it <laughs> got through a few levels and it's always hectic it's, it's always everybody's screaming and everybody is like oh my god do this do this do this and uh, yeah it's it's crazy and uh, it's a lot of fun so you guys should definitely try it out if you haven't um, and it's on Steam so you can try it out the next one is tabletop simulator um, I'm a big fan of like board games in general like uh 
apart from like video games, like board games is, are another thing that I love playing. Um, I have a whole bunch of like actual board games and then I decided to get Tabletop Simulator because hey, it's, it's board games but online and now that I can't really play board games with a lot of my friends, I play them online with my, with my friends. Um, the other thing that I do with this is uh, I play this with my girlfriend actually and uh, it's it's really good because there's a variety of games on there. There's really easy ones. There's a little bit more difficult ones. So if you have a significant other or somebody who <laughs> you, you want to get into gaming or even board games, I guess, um, this is definitely one to check out. Uh, you can download it and it's, it's a very small download. You can get almost like there's so many games in the library that you can go and check out. Um, I've only played a few hours of it, but like yeah, we tried it one day and, you know, she she really loved it. Um, we played it. I'm, I'm sure that this entire session was uh, just us playing or a few sessions of that. And then, yeah, next is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I remember when I first got a Roller Coaster Tycoon game, I got it out of a cereal box in, um, I don't know, you, you used to get like CDs in cereal boxes. Like you got little toys in cereal boxes too, but like in we used to get CDs and cereal boxes. This was so long ago now, but that's where I first got my first Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And uh, since then, I've, I've loved it. I've, I love the, you know, the fact that you can build uh, you know, whole theme parks. And every, every time you play even the same kind of map, it's, uh, it's always a different story. There's always like different mechanics. I don't know how they've programmed it, but like it's never the same experience when you play even the same map. Or, or the same challenge so you can keep playing it over and over again and it's a lot of fun so it's a, it's a it's an awesome awesome game you guys should definitely try it up if, if you haven't uh next is old school runescape i know it says one minute here but i've been playing old school runescape since oh god i want to say like 2007 or 2006 or something like that and there are like i've put so much time into this game that it's been, it's just ridiculous and it's recently just come out on steam and that's why that's why i downloaded it on here i don't know if i love the you know uh, like how it is on steam uh, just because i i like to use um a program called os buddy which uh lets you see like uh you know your experience the monsters you've killed um any items that are around all that kind of stuff um, giving you, I guess, a little bit of an advantage, but you know, it, it's it's just fun to play with that, um, and that's what I use it for. But I downloaded it on here just to check it out, and I didn't really didn't really play it after that. But uh, yeah, so that was March, um, and now we get into my top four games that I genuinely I do play, and uh, you know, I've been playing for a little while, and I think. I'm gonna go through this in the order I think the time frame yeah so I think this is my least played so I just started out on on Albion online and just tried to I don't know learn what it was about apparently there's a lot of growth in this game right now and like um, I, I did make another video about it and you guys can check that out uh, on my channel as well um, apparently the, the population has doubled since last year which is insane for an MMO like this. Um, it's an open world sandbox MMO. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, I got to try out a little bit of it. And you know what, like I I, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of like a mix of uh, games like RuneScape, uh, Guild Wars 2, uh, World of Warcraft a little bit in there, um, those kinds of games. And I, I love the kind of art style of it. And it's, you know, it's one of those games that uh, I thought would isn't you know super popular, but it turned out to be very popular. There's so many people when you go into the in, into the towns that you can actually just play and, and interact with. There's like, like it makes my computer lag, which is impressive for a game like this because the graphics aren't like that intense. All right, so second, I guess third is <laughs> I guess it, this is a short time difference, but 5.7 hours. Uh, I guess you can see here last played yesterday. Yeah, I was just uh, just kind of getting into it. I uh, 
I know that ultimate, um, is it ultimatum or ultimate? Uh, I can't remember. Ultimatum, yeah. Path of Exile, ultimatum, just launched. Um, I know everybody's been a, <laughs> having a hard time with with it, and I wanted to check it out. So I, uh, I re-downloaded it too, and just to see what's going on and see where my character is. And, you know, it's one of those games where you just kind of like, when you're in that mood of just like smashing through a whole bunch of mobs, you just go right in and just like destroy a ton of mobs that's what this is for that's what mood this game is for um and i often feel like that um well not often um but when i do i don't always feel like that but when i do i play poe <laughs> right uh yeah so anyways the next one is probably is stardew valley oh my god these these times i feel like are so off i i feel like i've played this game so much like there's you know I, yeah i you can see i don't i don't have like a lot of the achievements on it um but you know i've, I've played this quite a bit and maybe it's just been like restarting it and restarting farms and stuff like that but stardew valley is one of the other games um this is a different type of mood this is when i'm like super relaxed super mellow just chilling and just playing games um gets you kind of in tune with nature and just kind of lets you slowly kind of close off your day or like relax the music's relaxing everything is just so so you know it's just in in that type of mood so this is one of the games again i would highly recommend um that you try it out um and yeah so the next one and the very last one on my list is terraria now if you know any of like the videos on my channel or or anything like that you know that terraria is the game that i've been playing for a little while now actually and you can see by the hour count yeah 167 hours <laughs> seems like a lot but uh i guess i've played it for 167 hours and i actually made some videos about it um you know and i put them here on steam you can see that but they're also on my youtube channel so please 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 check them out if uh, if you are interested in terraria or want to check out what terraria is this is a really really fun game um it's it's one of those games that you know you, again you can play cooperatively you can play by yourself there's different you know modes there's challenge modes there's master mode um recently i guess there's there was a, a patch which allowed you to have minecraft skins in in terraria as well so if you like minecraft actually yeah if you like minecraft you should check this game out um and speaking of minecraft if minecraft was on here it would probably be one of my top as well so that is it wow that is quite a bit that's a lot of games uh, i didn't think i ha had that many games so i guess i don't play them very often but uh uh yeah that's a list of all the games that i have on steam the ones that I don't play and then the ones that I do play and uh, let me know what you what your guys's library looks like um, go check out your steam do the sort by recent activity and then uh, and see where you guys are and uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite game is what you spent the most amount of time on what you play recently um, and yeah so thank you guys for watching this has been my steam uh, top steam games in my library uh and again yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video